Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Commander. When we last left off, we completed the hallway and mezzanine. Uh, yeah, not a terrible job, I don't think. Now it's time to move on to the parents' bedroom. Now, this does get a little bit trickier. Uh, they definitely add some interesting objectives to the parents' bedroom, uh, including a couple of standout levels here. Anyway, before we waffle on... Uh, we have to start off with a rather mundane race. Uh, it's not bad, but, uh, you know, it's a race and it's in the aircraft. Uh, so, it's a challenge, but there we go. Anyway, Blackjack is our new antagonist here. Ahoy, matey! There's nothing like a good race to help you explore a new room in the house. Try not to finish last. Yep. Uh, a pirate ship is the antagonist for this uh, particular room. And one of my favourites, actually, uh, for reasons that we'll go into a little bit later on. Anyway, let's go. So this race is... This is a more challenging race. Mainly... Because you're in a plane, and the plane controls are questionable, to be honest. So we're going to go to first person camera, because that really freaking helps. It doesn't give you an automatic win, uh, but it helps. In fact, I might have just screwed the pooch. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, cool. Fuel's not an issue here. Bumping into things is. So we can play a little bit unfair there with our missiles doesn't matter doesn't matter at all you can blow the other competitors up because it's not really about beating them it's about getting that delicious time which yeah isn't too bad on this level as long as you don't royally fuck things up which uh, well I've done once or twice I've had a few practice shots at this room, and yeah, it's it's not bad, <laughs> uh, but you do need to know what you're doing on some of these missions, because uh, it, although, well, I mean, it's clear what you've got to do, but actually doing and winning is not as easy as uh, it has been in the prior rooms. This game does get... I wouldn't say cryptic, but yeah, they don't exactly explain everything in these intros, in these mission briefs, if you will, which is fine, you know. Uh, games used to do that back in the day, and part of the fun was exploring the levels and working out the best strategies. And, you know... Quite often in this game, there's a few different methods that will get you through a level. Not always, but sometimes. Yeah, that'll that'll do. I think we've got a bin. Uh, bin? Yes, we've got a bin. I think we've got a win to... Yeah, 2 minutes 15 seconds. Okay. Aced it. Don't think you, uh, I'll be surrendering just because you managed to outrun three measly pirates. Pilots or pirates? Maybe they're pirate pilots. Who knows? Anyway, Railroad Rabble. In me next life, perhaps I'll be a train. But hopefully, with a more dependable crew, the train driver is snoozing. The train is going round in circles. Lead it to the nearest station by switching the points as necessary. Use caution. Your enemies are watching you. Yeah, <clears throat> this mission actually can be solved in a couple of, couple of ways, but... There is a fairly easy strap to this one. Oh, look at that. We've got max level guns, which, well, it's not the be all and end all, but it's certainly going to help us kick an ass or two here. Yeah, max level guns absolutely shreds, as you can see. There we go. Uh, I mean, pff, done and done, son. Uh, right, we want that one pointing this way, and we want that one pointing this way. And that's it. That's a wrap. Pack up and get out. 
And now there are other routes I believe you can take on this level, but they're longer and they have more enemies in the way, so we're not gonna bother. Why make it harder for yourself? You know, if that's all it takes, that's all it takes. Unfortunately, we do have to wait for the uh, you know, train to get to where it needs to go, but instead of going all the way around the houses, it's just going to go from there to there. Oh, hello, you sneaky little sod. Didn't even see that guy there. What a dick. Well, he's dead now, so, you know. Okay, cool. In your own time, train. I don't know if it's actually dropping anybody off or what, but we care not as long as uh, the deal is done. So 140, what did we, we needed to beat 220. Give you a lot of uh, play time there. Uh, what do you want me to say? That you're the best? I'd sooner walk me in plank. You know, we'll get to that, matey. Putting out fires. Now, this one uh, can be a little bit iffy due to the game's hit detection, but we'll figure it out. Ah, it seems like me cannons have set things afire. Hurry up and get to the get the water bomber out. Fill it with water and save the cottage on the hill. Yeah. Little bastard's gone and set the place on fire. Well, that's okay. That's where we come in. Now, I don't know if Mom's going to be that happy with us as we appear to have totally and utterly flooded this room. But hey. You know, maybe you shouldn't leave your children unsupervised. I'm just saying, all right? Just saying. Right, that's actually working on the fire because you can hear the sizzling. It's uh, a lot harder to hit this fire than you'd think. It really is. Come on. There we go. Can't hear any sizzling there, so I'm going to say that we've probably not hit, ne hit anything. Or have we? No, we did, actually. Excellent. Yeah, one more load should do it. Hopefully. Yeah, as you can see, the timer is really quite stacked against us. But we don't really have to do that much. So, you know. How did that? Oh, I can hear sizzling. I think we need some more water, though. Yeah, mum. We've got time for one more run. Hopefully, that's just the ticket. Yeah, there we go. Okay, not too bad. 119. What did we have? It's like a 144. Okay, not bad. Somewhat generous. How dare ye best me score? Such a humiliation will cost you dearly. Uh-huh. Cool, cool. Ah, yes. Hmm, hmm. Twelve mercenaries. Now, we've got eight minutes to do this. This is quite a technical level, actually. Uh, yeah. The toy commander will congratulate me. I've recruited some fine soldiers to join our cause. But don't worry about them because they're safe and sound and there's nothing you can do. <clears throat> Blackjack is partly right, as their base is well defended. Rely on your 12 trusty mercenaries to launch an attack on the fortress. Just help them move, and be sure to find sniping spots for your troops to take advantage of. Yeah, so we can't actually attack here. We just have uh, 12 men that can't move. We have to position them like turrets. Uh, this one is an interesting level. And this contains... Pretty much everything I like about Toy Commander. It's the game that makes you think. So first thing we're going to do is wipe these guys out. We may lose some dudes, we may not. There's still some guys up there. Need to kill him. You have absolutely plenty... Oh, we did lose a guy. We have absolutely plenty of time here. So time is not a factor on this level. The biggest issue you have on this level is actually figuring out what to do. But it's not too bad. Anyway, so we've got an enemy tank circling around there. That's bad, but that's okay. We'll deal with him later. All right, another enemy 
down. Oh, that tank is right above us. That's a little bit unfortunate, actually. Well, if the tank's there, that means we can sneak up here. Now, about these whole vantage sniping spots. Yeah, they're very important. Don't think that's quite going to work. What about that? You do have to get the right little vantage spots here. Because there's a turret right there. Oh, God. God. Yeah, yeah, I am a professional. Or something. Alright, well, uh, let's try that again. Luckily, the tank is slow. But the tank will kill your men in one hit. That's bad. So, we don't really want that to happen. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? We want to get a rocket guy. Kind of here somewhere. There we go. That. Oh, great. That's bad. That was terrible timing. Titan, you're a retard. Can you say retard? Probably not. But uh, I guess I just did. Okay. All right. There we go. Ow. Danger close, dude. Jeez. Right. We need him to take out that fortification there. <clears throat> now, your riflemen, believe it or not, actually have a really rubbish range. They are absolutely useless. But the rocket troops are basically your snipers in this. But you don't have many of them, as you can see. Right, let's top up the old fuel tanks. Okay, so what are we looking like? <clears throat> not bad. We just need to break in and get up here. So we've cleared the soldiers that were this side. Now we need to start working our way in. Oh, God damn it! There's a tank. Don't worry, you'll get yours. You'll get yours. Uh, and talking about the tank getting his, I think we're going to sort him out in a minute. But first, let's get a sniper. Stick him there. He's very eager when he comes out the back of the thing. He's literally coming out the back. Trigger finger. Twitching away. Nice. Alright, that'll work. Okay, now let's get rid of that tank. Because otherwise, it's just going to be a humongous pain in the dick. So let's get some dudes up here. And what we're going to do, we're going to actually come up here and hope that we're up here. That the tank is going to focus on us. If we're lucky. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, those rifles, they don't do a huge amount of damage uh, singularly, but when there's multiple of them, they can really pack the damage in, which is good. Okay, that was actually not the most efficient way of getting up there, but hey, whatever. Now, we're going to go into this boulder holder, and we're going to drop a dude right here. Because for some reason... They can't actually hit him when he's in here. Don't question it. It's just the way it is. But he can hit everything else. Now, if you put too many troops in here, that thing will light them up. It'll be like the 4th of July all over again. We don't want that. Now, time's pretty good. In fact, our time... Right, we want riflemen. Uh, we're stuck on the titty strap. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, give me a reverse camera. Thank you. Now, we're going to go sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. We're going to drop Private Ryan off there. Nice. That'll work. Because we can kind of uh, get under their gun there. Right, that's where he's hitting. So, if I drop him... Ooh, bad one. He shall not be forgotten. What was his name? Anyway, let's go. Grab you. Now, we're kind of damaged, but we're okay. We're going to keep doing this uh, sneaky sneak tactic. There we go. That's better. Right. Something like that might do. No, not quite. Sneaky sneak a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That's probably too much. What about that? There we go. Excellent. Light them up. Now, that's the last barrier in the way. Now, remember, we've got eight minutes to do this. I think most of that time is supposed to be for you to work out what the hell you're supposed to be doing. 
which is fair, you know. There's a lot of trial and error on these levels, especially if you've never played this game before. Like, a lot of trial and error. And that gets us behind their base, so we can horribly murder them, you know, with our firing squad. Not bad, I think we only lost two men, which is acceptable, you know. Casualties in war and all that lot. Six minutes, we had two minutes left. It's driving me crazy to see a scurvy dog like you uh, do such good time. Uh, cat, please do not get... I've got like a uh, shelving unit next to my PC. Uh, and that's got all of my recording consoles connected up to. Very delicate, you know. And my cat likes to jump on it and sit on it. Almost had me PS3 over. Uh, it's driving me crazy. Yes, beginner's luck. I don't think uh, I'm a beginner. Just saying, ooh, a friend in need. This mission is kind of difficult, actually. Uh, let's do this one first. Do ye really think a convoy is going to reach its destination? Dream on. Now, dream on. Lel. That was actually the logo uh, for the Dreamcast in certain places. Make a clean sweep for uh, of an area before letting the convoy move forward. That's when to activate the switches to the gates the first switch is easy if you're flying high yeah we get uh air vehicles in this one and we get um ground vehicles but we're gonna be in oops my bad we're gonna be in the jet because you can do pretty much all of this in the jet in fact you can do all of this in the jet so that is what we're gonna do but first we need to pick up some supplies missiles are in short supply on this level and in fact you can get totally boned thanks to the RNG of this level but that's okay right let's start sweeping these guys out now there's a couple of things that happens later on in this level that you really need to be a little bit careful with uh, mainly spawning enemies all right see this is why we like the powered up missiles it is very efficient use powered up missiles okay so there's a couple of missiles in there we're gonna drop in here though power up our machine gun and we're also gonna be a sneaky little bastard now the good thing about this is the convoy won't advance until we want it to advance uh, because we control the switches however it does take the convoy a very long time to get to where it needs to be so you need to bear that in mind now in a minute the convoy is going to get attacked going to get attacked by helicopters these helicopters do a frightening amount of damage in a very short time oh god we're out of missiles we were out of missiles see look at that that missile pack only gave us three right so they're ready here come the helicopters. These powered up guns, these are the real MVPs, let me tell you. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh man, there's no way I could have cherry picked him out like that with the Dreamcast controller. It just wouldn't happen in a million years. Right, so we've got one tank hiding down there, and that's fine. We can handle him. There we go. Now, we've also got this guy here, but that's fine. Oh, he's got some missiles for us. Very kind of him. Anyway, there's only two enemies left now, I think. And they're sneaky little bastards. These can wipe your guys out in seconds. One hiding there. And there's another hiding in the drawer beneath it. These guys, these suck. They're bombers. And a little bit like the helicopters except they drop bombs right and their bombs will take your convoy out in literally one or two hits yeah not good actually especially not good if you don't know they're coming because uh that's a real quick way to the bottom anyway let's load up some fuel so now all we've got to do everything's pretty much done one and done son now we've just got to play the waiting game. Where are you? Oh, he's a little bit smoky. Yeah, looks like we've uh, cooked the stitch in just a little bit. But yeah, this mission, holy shit, guys. This took me a lot of practice, this one. 
Uh, let's just say I was very, very rusty at this particular level. Now you'd think all he's got to do now is keep going this way. But oh no, that will be too easy. He's got to go all up and around there, yep. Say, time management is key here. It really is. If you fuck this up because you take too long uh, letting the convoy go, that's where you're going to fail this mission. It really is. You're not going to be destroyed uh, necessarily. And as long as you know about the helicopters and you know about the bombers, your convoy is probably not going to get destroyed either. But this one is all about time management when you let that train go. But hey ho, diddly dee. Jobs are good. Now, is it going to go round my plane? What is the timer on this mission? 6 minutes 20, yeah. Sounds like a lot of time, but like I said, it takes a long time for this guy. Oh, he just pushes the plane out of the way. Ha. Huh. Okay. I like that. Is he just going to take the plane with him? Well, the jet. My apologies. Now, is there anything in the hangar? I like the way you see other toys around these levels as well. Toys that you see um, and toys that you get to use in other levels. It's really cool. Like uh, Chuck, the Godzilla uh, dinosaur thing wearing the rabbit onesie. You see him in a few levels. It's quite cool. Now I know, you know, reusing assets and all that stuff. But in this game, it works. See, even though we had a good amount of time to do that, we still beat that by less than a minute. Okay. If you keep on beating me records, you're going to find yourself staring at me skull and crossbones flag. Which will be the last thing you see before being destroyed. Uh-huh. Cool storage, bruh. Now, this is... No, that's Blackjack. We're not going to do him yet. Sink and destroy. This is my favorite mission of this room. I love this mission. It actually can be quite hard, depending. Uh, but I'm not too bad at it. So, let's go. Ooh, someone's in for a Duncan. Do ye know how to swim? I do. And so do me mates, you'll soon see. Three destroyers and two submarines are docked in the bath. Sink them if you can. So you'll notice we've only got three and a half minutes. Doesn't seem like a lot of time, and it kind of isn't. But that's okay. We come prepared. Here is our aircraft carrier. And you can see we have a load of Japanese zeros. And we're going to be needing these bad boys. So, one cool thing about this level... Or one insensitive racist thing about this level, depending on your ideology. Is we can actually use kamikaze here to destroy these ships. Which is a really freaking cool touch, if you ask me. Right, okay, let's grab these power-ups. Now, one thing to mention about this level. There's a lot of enemies. You know, there is a lot of enemies. You don't have to destroy them all. But it does make things easier. You also don't have to worry too much about losing your planes. Because we're going to lose our planes anyway. At least some of them. Oh, we're out of missiles. If we're out of missiles, that means bonsai! There we go. Nice. Now, unfortunately, we've lost all of our upgrades. Now we've just got this rather meager zero. But, hey, you know, that's the way it goes. Now. We've got all these balloons up here as well, which are pretty cool. Okay. So we can't... Let's get rid of you. Definitely want to get rid of these gun turrets. If we can. Now, obviously, you don't need to do this. Like, depending on how the RNG goes for you, 
I always go the circle the, uh, the wrong way around these levels for some reason. But depending on how the RNG goes for you, you might end up getting loads of ammo and loads of equipment. Which is good, because then you don't have to do the kamikaze attacks. But, you know, it all depends. Also, using the kamikaze attack is easily the quickest method of actually getting this area done. You can kamikaze the submarines as well. But, you at least as far as I'm aware, you can't get both of them in one hit. You do need to do one and then the other. We've lost enough pilots today. We'll take the other one out using the guns. Okay. Shiver me timbers. I'm looking forward to showing you your place once and for all. Uh huh. Okay, Blackjack. Did you know when there's nothing left to eat on a boat? It's the cabin boy who goes in the pot first. Who's the cabin boy, you ask? Ah, it's you, up and Adam. Okay. Love this boss fight. It's really fun. You know, like the rest of the game. It's really fun. I'm going to eat those words later, probably. Now, you don't start off with a huge amount of missiles. But they are kind of dotted around, so that's cool. We're not doing much there, are we? Yeah, this guy is definitely not as hard as the prior boss, but he definitely... Oh, we just got to get the edge of that ship. Right, do we have any more missiles? It doesn't look like we do, actually. That's not great. Let's form a whole long load of missiles for him to fly into. Now... Yeah. Looks like that's kind of it. We've got three missiles left. That's bad. But there we go. Gonna have to bomb him. We've got 56 bombs. Holy crap. Never had to use the bombs before, so this is kind of all new to me. Yeah. Right, okay. Usually you have more than enough missiles. Notice how he's not actually shooting at us anymore. I don't know. Oh, looks like more missiles have spawned. I don't know if his gun is on the back. Looks like he's got a cannon pointing behind him. So that's probably what it is. Well, we've got some more missiles. Let's go sink this bastard once and for all. Oh, Blackjack. You're a fucked mate. There we go. Done and done. I like the way he just bobs in the water there a little bit. Bob. And that is that. Blackjack, you're done, son. What? You've sunk Blackjack? He'll regret his weaknesses. So says the toy commander. You're very confident of yourself, aren't you, Mr. Toy Commander? Hmm. Very confident indeed. Yes. Well, we'll see how that works out for you a little bit later. Anyway, guys, that's that. All laced again. Um, you know, it's interesting. Like, I used to find this game so hard when I was a kid. Uh, and I've, I was definitely rusty coming back to it, for sure. But a little bit of, you know, practice. And it's like putting on an old glove, you know what I mean? Nice. Just, just slide your hand in there. Fits perfectly. Anyway, when we come back, we're going to the garage and tool room. And that's a good time from what I can remember. <gasps> the evil extraterrestrials. Now this... Oh, yes. This level. This level can be insanely difficult, depending. Uh, yeah, 47 seconds to beat this level. Yeah, that's not a typo. Now, using the uh, Dreamcast control pad... Ooh, but, who knows? Maybe we'll fare better this time. But, that's going to have to wait until the next video, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. And, as always, till next time.